guys, welcome to our MetaField Shopify app review series. That was a handful. So um, I'm Andrew from ecomexperts.io and in this channel we review Shopify apps. So the goal here is that we want to avoid you to have to install all the apps to figure out which one you like because remember every time you install an app you're cluttering up your team code and when you uninstall it the code doesn't get removed so um, it slows down your store so this is why I always make sure you check out our videos to make sure we didn't review it yet and uh, if we did review it to make sure that's really the look and feel you were looking for into the app so today we're going to look at Metafield Guru um, it's a less popular Metafield app and we're going to because it's relatively new so we're going to see what exactly uh, it can do Metafield Guru as of right now comes with no charges and so like I said there is not a lot of review Views yet so it, because it's quite new so um, let's look at it on the other side let's look at how it feels on the screen and uh, see you on the other side cheers after you install and integrate the app with your Shopify or Shopify plus account you will take can be taken to this main dashboard uh, the dashboard looks simple almost kind of vintage you could say it looks maybe a tiny bit basic but that's all right in the top navigation bar, you can choose between resources, lists, bulk editor, import and export, help, and settings if you need that. We will start with the resource list as we are on that page right now. As the name says it on this page, you can browse through your shop resources. And there is a search option, which is great. You can add meta fields to smart and custom collections, products and variants, custom and customers, orders, pages, blogs and posts, and your shop. I'm thinking to start with the page object as we did in our previous video. So let's see if we can find the page we want to edit. Let's click on the page object. Again, we are presented with a search button and list of items. In our case, we want to edit the meta field app page. Here you can see and edit all the meta fields we created using another meta fields app. So that's a pretty cool feature, but we want to create a new meta field for this particular page. Click on a blue button that says create meta fields and a new meta field appeared. Uh, this looks good. You can actually finish almost everything from this field. First, we have a key which contains the name or label of the specific meta field. Um, a good way of thinking about it is understanding it as an identifier. We will go with, let's say, ingredients as key. Uh, I don't know. By the way, you can check out our other video we made explaining all this, um, generally explaining meta fields. We need to enter the meta field namespace next. Namespace is used to group different meta fields together in a logical way. If you don't have a lot of meta fields, you can just use local or global. We will leave it as global just for the sake of time. Next, we have value type. We want to start with video. Oh, we can just add a string integer and JSON. All right. For us users of meta fields having the ability to add json is a huge plus this means you can store a lot of strings or integer or just store data in general in one meta field think of it like a group of strings or integers we won't do that for now but let's choose string and write some dummy text like apple sugar and aqua and then click on save here now just copy and paste the liquid code to your team it should look like this, not bad, not bad at all. Let's see what else we can do with this app. We have a bulk editor. I'm excited about this since there are not a lot of free apps that offer this feature, bravo. And this page is under construction, all right. Import export, same story. Help center is not under construction. Fantastic. You can chat with the customer support and the knowledge base has three sections. And that is it for this app. What we like about the app is that it's frankly really easy to use. Everything is in one place, which is great. Uh, unfortunately, there are a lot more things we're not a huge fan of. First off, all right, the design, um, it's, it's a bit harder around the corners and there is uh, not a lot of options, just text and numbers 
um, which is what you get in the free plan of other apps, but then you also have the JSON. So uh, also the bulk editor and import export is a must for the app of this type, we believe. I mean, this app has great reviews, and again, this is like every every other app we review. You have to decide whether it's a fit for you. I can see some clients for which this app is a great fit, and other clients for which this app is not a great fit at all. So it really depends. All right, guys, that is it for today. What did you think about it? Uh, did you get some useful info out of it? Is it is this helping you? If not, let me know. Comment, like, subscribe. It really helps us to know um, whether we have to put more effort into making these videos or not. Also, make sure to check out our Facebook page or LinkedIn page because that's where we uh, post news regarding Shopify. We try to give you news size bits, not clickbait, just really news size bit information so that you can stay up to date on what's happening in the Shopify world. Um, we try to make the title that way so you don't have to click on the article so you can just title read uh, and give you all the most exact and precise Shopify information. So that you can find on our Shopify, uh, on our Ecom Experts Facebook channel and on our LinkedIn channel. So you can just uh, subscribe to those and you will be always up to date with what's happening in the Shopify world. Thanks so much for um, your engagement on these videos. I hope you like them, like, subscribe, and everything else, and we'll see you in another video. Ciao.